Okay, so we'll review our minutes um, and then just checking in on this stipend program, feedback from creative discourse, um, committee and committee plannings, um, and then all of the other regular stuff, the self-education and learning roundtable, report back from other city committees, other business. Anything to note or add or move? I'll move to approve the agenda. Oh, I don't think we need to make a formal motion, right? We're oh. good. Just like thumbs up, like if, if there's right. anything to add. Good. Thanks so, Michael. Okay, if folks want to pull up the um, minutes from Cameron. Uh, we had the discussion about creative discourse, the stipend program, uh, committee and committees, so very similar um, agenda. Um, do you want to make a motion to approve that agenda, Michael? Yes. The, the, the minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Sorry. It was that a yes? Sorry. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. And Pellin, you second? I second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Nice work team. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, Choose. So, it's hard to get through the hard parts of the agenda. <laughs> yeah, they do them like right up front and no. Um, so we have this stipend program discussion continued and this is where it's like, I usually like to like get my head on straight before coming into the call, but of um, if we had any feedback from creative discourse, I hadn't heard any feedback. Okay. Um, and then if any, oh, go ahead. No, so I just wanted to give sort of an update from my end. So um, one, I was out of the office a lot of last week, sort of unexpectedly. And so a lot of the planned time that I had to do this, just, I, I, I so I, I wanted to come with sort of more of a package of all the things y'all have been talking about. And I, I'm sorry. So I owe y'all an apology. That was my goal to get that done by today. And it just didn't happen. So um, I wanted to sort of check in and make sure I'm doing the right things to support y'all. So my understanding is that, you know, your goal for the pilot proposal is to have the bucket of money and have it be first come first serve. Right. And we're taking a survey at the beginning before it's implemented to make sure that at the end we can see if there's any changes, which is great. And then, um, I just need to check in and make sure that my end, like our insurance and our payroll is up to speed with that. And that's really what I'm packaging, right? To give to y'all, to edit, to give to, to give to the council and to the um, committee on committees. Is that my understanding that like packaged correctly? Yeah, I have one question and that is, um... The the offer is good for people who are already on committees, or is it for new new people? Yeah, I think both. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. And just to clarify, I think the package includes the the um the pre work, you know, the survey to establish where we've been, the language around how to sign up for it, the materials for signing up for the stipend, um, and any like, like just like the full life cycle is what I'm just trying to think of through is like, and any reporting materials, which just sounds like more of what you've been thinking about. I don't think we've talked about that very much. Okay. So does that mean that we need to do, talk about that now? Cameron, if Cameron's going to try to put together this package, do we need to have the, um, I mean, I think that's what Cameron was mentioning that we just like, haven't, yeah. Of like, if there's any tax form stuff, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to have anything useful no. to say on that. Like it's, I don't know no. what that would look like. So I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing any pieces that's like sort of being squished together. Um, so that was on my notes to do is just to check in, make sure I, I have all the pieces right and take all the things that y'all have already decided and sort of put it in one narrative to, to give to y'all to like look at, make sure I didn't miss anything. And then that's the thing that you'd be bringing to the committee on committees and then council. Um, 
So I was just checking. Um, I got some uh, documents the last week when I wasn't in from Essex. They sent all of their forms and stuff. So I have that to build off of. Um, so uh, my new goal, because I do not, knock wood, anticipate taking any time off between this meeting and the next meeting, is to have that done for y'all. So um, thank you for being patient. I'm sorry. I hate that I How have to How dare you take time off, Cameron? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really glad you can take time off. Absolutely okay. no worries. Um, well, Lauren, we're just talking about the package of materials that we need. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we might get through our agenda quickly. What do you guys think? Yeah, don't jinx um, it. Yeah, don't jinx it. Okay, sorry. Oop. Take it back. Um, all right, we had our committee and committee meeting planning continued, and I am not remembering the specifics around what that continuation would be, and I'm sorry again that I didn't go over it. I think we had established the kind of discussion questions and the overview and the roles last time, so I think we mm -hmm. had, you know, I'll do kind of like the welcome and overview of CJAC. Lauren will kind of go do the overview of this stipends. Um, you know, what are they? How can they be accessed? Why is it important? Going over the pre-survey review process and Cameron would go over the finance pieces and then we'd all kind of take Q&A. And then kind of after that stipend piece, we would go into discussion of um, just talking more about having Jeremy facilitate and of talking more about if you had, you know, activities related to DEI, can you share what progress you've been made, barriers you've had, equity questions that are relevant to your committee's work. Um, if you had a magic wand, what equity issues would you change in the purview of your committee? Um, and have Michael be the timekeeper there, and then Pellin to review next steps, evaluate the meeting, and close. Does that sound anything to note there? No. Well, my, my question on that, am I unmuted? Nope. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. The you're like 18 things deep at this point, um, is one of the things like, did you want to have a presentation? Did you want to like create scripts for yourselves? I mean, you have time. You have how many meetings yeah. between now and then? I just want us to start. You have one meeting in between then, right? Can I look at calendars? Yes, you have one meeting. So I just wanted to make sure that that was something you're thinking about, which is why yeah. it's still on the agenda. Yeah, I mean, so that's what, how we could be spending this meeting time because I don't think we have anything else like urgent to discuss, discuss is this could just be a working meeting where we could work on those pieces, um, which I think is a little atypical, but if uh, if that would be of use, I know Michael then wouldn't like, I don't know, maybe, you know, Michael could help out with someone else, but or go ahead, Helen. Yeah, I was uh, planning to ask similar uh, question like Cameron mentioned. Um, I can't review the meeting, like it is okay because I will be there listening to, but what are our next steps? Are there any specific next steps that we want to mention? Or I will just, you know, make them up after listening to people. So that was my question. Yeah, I mean, I think it's mostly the stuff that we talked about of like having people fill out the surveys and then and then I think, yeah, it's like the, it's the pulling out the pieces that get discussed in the discussion um, to say, okay, so it sounds like, you know, the housing committee and the ADA committee are going to meet to talk about this thing that they, that we talked about and okay. making sure we kind of captured things, all of that. Yeah. Sorry. Only one thing is so certain, they will take the survey. And other steps, I it will be kind of summary of the meeting, right? I will kind of summarize what people say. Oh, it will be our next step. So I will just remind those steps to them. It is not our steps recommending them. It is their steps they mentioned. Okay, thank you. I think so, yeah. Are there any other next steps that we want to bump to people? You know, I think, you know, this is where we could have also said, we're going to have our big summit on this day, turn people, you know, things like that, but we're, we're not, we're not there. Yeah. Um, so we did, did we at one point think about, we had talked about trying to do this like twice a year or something like, do we want to be like, and we're going to get back together in 
early fall or whenever six months is to, uh, to yeah. check in and like, I don't know, just to like have some accountability, like we're going to be following up, <laughs> right. um, you know, and whatever, I guess, I'm sure some of them could be things that we say that we could do to help different groups. So some of the next steps. I think that's a good one. It's just checking in to see what committees want to meet with y'all, right? Get some insight. Cool. Should we do some co-working time, co-working space? Or I don't want to waste people's time too. Um, Can I just ask a question about something I think I missed in the agenda? Um, or just like thinking about the contracts that we're having with Creative Discourse to help and being at the um, first of the Elks Club property public hearings, like there was talk about like, we should do focused outreach to different types of groups. Like, is that something that the city Cameron is thinking about? Like, this is where I could see Creative Discourse being helpful. Like with that kind of public process with us or even maybe facilitating a meeting with like some affinity groups or something. So just wondering like how we're thinking about using them. And that seems like a very high profile and a, a good opportunity where, because we are looking at like housing and different community needs, like it could be, be really valuable obviously to get that feedback. So just throwing that out there. Honestly, Laura and I can speak from staff perspective as we haven't, we're still working on going through all the comments and putting them in buckets. And I think that's a suggestion that we would want to bring back to council and say, hey, here's the planning process because um, it's on your agenda for not tonight. Oh my God. Uh, but the following meeting um, is to talk about the planning process for the Elks Club master plan. And that will be the time where we bring up, here's what we heard. And here's some recommendations. So I'll, I'll make a note of that to talk about. Great, thanks. Yeah, I know it came up in the meeting as a suggestion. So just I'm sure it'd be part of it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I'm um, talking about some other city related stuff. Um, uh, we are bringing the locker presentation to council tonight. I don't know if um, that will be something that they are going to want to discuss tonight, according to the mayor. So um, not in a bad way, but just in a more time way. So um, unsure. I had invited y'all to that to hear about that, but I'm not sure if they're going to actually be discussing it if you're hanging on to the council meeting tonight. So I don't know. I can be until 7.45 tonight, but I do have another meeting at eight. So if, uh, yeah, I'm intrigued. Huh? Um, Okay, I was going to circle back and, and maybe do some work on my like overview of CJAC and some and I can like support some of the stipends conversation pieces here too, if that if that makes that sense. And then maybe you can like circle back in 15, 20 minutes and, and do a report back discussion of these pieces. Does that seem like it would be a good use of time? Sure. I'm really, I'm really sorry I didn't come in as prepared as I like to be on these calls. Okay. So we had, just so I'm looking at our last meetings. So folks would be working on the following. Shana is working on the introduction and welcome and overview of CJAC. Lauren would be doing an overview of our history of the discussion of the stipends. I don't have this information yet, but um, I'll get the city finance information uh, to support that. Jeremy is facilitating the discussion. Helen is talking about next steps and Michael is our timekeeper. If maybe help with some of the uh, context or about the, any of it, honestly. So that's what we'd be working on. I 
can just ask, so in the agenda, like the one up, it kind of runs through roles at the bottom and agenda up top and up top it says, um, what are the stipends, how and where can they be accessed and why is it important? And then pre-review, pre-survey review and process. Am I covering that also along with stipends or is that a separate topic that so that's, I think else? that's you too, if that's okay. Or yeah, okay. do you feel like you have the information that you need for that? I feel like I can get the information I need for that. Okay. <laughs> Before the 11th, yeah. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. So I was like... Michael, you're muted if you're, sorry. He's reading. Um, the, uh, the way I see this, uh, we're not gonna have any breakout sessions. Is that right? Everything is going to be plenary. All right. Um, okay. That makes things easier in some ways. Harder for you as the timekeeper being like, and we're just moving on. <laughs> And how many uh, did we just did we determine how many minutes we were going to try to keep any comments to? That's on you. It's on okay. me. Figure, figuring that out or and or uh, keeping people moving along. Well, no. I, I'm I'm okay with with taking on that responsibility. I wasn't. I can't. Re I just couldn't remember if we had determined an, an, an amount of time to give each person. Um, you know, we can just. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of arbitrary. Oh, this is getting boring. Time, you yeah, time out. <laughs> um, but um, I would say three minutes is. Um, you know, it's it's, just, it's it's where it seems to work okay at council to do two minutes, except for one person who always complain about it. Um, but so I think three minutes is, is adequate and we can always circle back to a person who has more to say. Is that, is that agreeable with the rest of you? Okay. Well, uh, it seems like if there is like discussion, you know, like if there's Good, com like it's like yeah, I'm not wanting to be like. Well, that's an interesting question. Are we more, are we yeah. trying to sort of gather information, or are we really are we there to promote a discussion? Because if it's a discussion, then it gets more harder to figure out how much time to to give any one person, but also how to manage the the the, the kind of map of who, who comes next and things like that. Were you thinking it was going to be back and forth? I think, yeah, I think to me, listening to y'all talk about this, it's um, like chunk the agenda up. Like you have 20 minutes for your introduction where we're talking, or you have 10 minutes or five minutes for that. And then you have 30 minutes for this discussion and you let it just sort of ride and you ask the questions that you want to ask. And after 30 minutes, Michael, you just say, and we're done with this part, and then you move on. That's my suggestion, okay. you know? Oh, all right. Well, that's a much easier job, of course. <clears throat> but I think it's also like you do want, I, I have only heard that y'all want people to discuss things in a real way and not just report back. And so I would hate for you to feel like you have to stop somebody if they're on a tear, like a good one anyway. Maybe we can rely on you to rein in people who are who are rambling. Okay.
Shana, a bit of a flow question. Can I interrupt you? Um, yeah. so I, I assume like when you're talking about the overview that y'all talk about the equity assessment and suite of recommendations and that stipends was one of the core and that like hands it over to me. Is That's that exactly what I was just working on and wanting to clarify with you, but I'm not quite there yet, but I think it's all going to work. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to figure out how to start. And so like, assuming that you would given talked about the equity assessment. And so I'm just picking up more like the details of the stipend proposal. Okay. I think so. Yeah. We can figure that out. Obviously. <laughs> A question on the, um, I understand what we're trying to do with the survey. The other part of the agenda, however, is the kind of the report back. And that also is where uh, it's unclear to me how much time we want to devote to that and how much time we want to give to each of, there are a lot of committees. Um, um, and how much time do, and you have four questions that you have for each committee, for each of those committees. So, um, how do you want to divide that? How did you think about you were dividing that? I've been working on the welcome and intros too of, you know, of, of having folks share at the, at the top of the meeting of like the name, the committee, what their committee does, you know, the committee charge. And then like, I was thinking of like, yeah, did we want to put some of those questions at the top and then do the presentation and then do the discussion even you know so of like you know do a quick go around at the beginning and say like here's our committee and last time we met we talked about x y and z here's the update on where we're at you know or if we should have something more fun or like not not as like diving in at the beginning and then do another round of here's where we're at here's what we're, what we're digging in on. Here's the questions and concerns that we have kind of thing. I don't know, yeah. Well, I think it's a question of how quickly do you wanna get into the meat of what's going on? If we <clears throat> if you spend a lot of time on the introductions, that cuts into really where we want to be going. Exactly. Um, I, my own opinion is that since there is there is an agenda, there is a part of the agenda which asks them to report, holding if they could just say which committee they introduce themselves. If you want introductions all the way around, then I would say. Um, just to ask them to introduce themselves as individuals in the committee they serve on them will come back and circle back when they do their re, their reporting. That, that'll Sorry, get can us. you say that again? 
Yeah, I'm just, yeah. So just introduce them, their name and the committee that they're on, and that's it. Yep. And then save all the, in, the information stuff until we are past the discussion of um, what what the, what the uh, stipend issue is about. And, um, and I go on to then have the reporting back. That sounds good, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna chat, capture that in my notes, okay. <clears throat> uh, one, other, one other question, do, uh, do we have, have we started or do we anticipate doing an RSVP so we'll know who's coming? That's what we did last time and it caused some open meeting law issues, right? I don't, Cameron, yeah. Gonna... Yeah, let me pull up the invite. So uh, yeah, we can't have people um, uh, well, it's been sent to 42 people. Now, all of them do not have the ability to um, say they're coming because it's like a lot of Gmails and AOL accounts and that kind of thing. But I've gotten a lot of really positive feedback to the invite. So um, I would probably estimate about 30 people, probably. So good amount of folks. And I think the chairs who weren't going to make it have forwarded it to somebody from their committee who can come. And it's a, is it a two hour meeting? What did I set it for? An hour and a half. Oh, and it's also warned, so other people, other people can come. Right, it's just warned as a CJAC meeting. <clears throat> well, so a uh, question then is, um, is there a place here where we're going to take com we're going to take comments or questions from the other than uh, the committee members? If it's, you don't have to. We don't have to. Mm. Oh, okay. As long as there's like you're not telling people from the public that they cannot speak, you're fine. You don't have to have a dedicated time for that. Because I think that will also be interesting if people do choose to come from the public and have comments about like what people could be focusing on would be insightful. And so um, it's up to the moderator or whoever's running the meeting to just decide whether to recognize someone who wants to speak. Well, I guess it's just up to y'all how you want to run that, but I would assume so. What do you think, Michael? <laughs> well, maybe I'm taking this timekeeper stuff too seriously, but um, <laughs> um, I mean, I, um, if 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 it is an, if it is an open meeting and anybody can talk, and then we get we can get derailed, um, and if we have some business that we really need to to get accomplished here, I think it's important to at least to have um, it, have it clear who's going to recognize someone who's not a committee who's not speaking from the perspective of a committee and, and, and how much is just, just to be prepared for that. Yeah. Well, I think that's, a, I'll do the intros at the beginning so we can get a sense of if there are people who are not that and just like cut people off. And then when Jeremy is doing the, facilitating the discussion, then he'll like, he'll know because we did the intros already. If like this person's not a committee, chair or is not on a committee or for whatever reason to be able to facilitate in a way that would 
cut that off, right? Okay. The, uh, another question, again, procedural. Is, is Jeremy uh, who going to have a list of the committees and just go down and call on people? Or are we going to say, okay, who's next? Because that's kind of a waste of time. Yeah. No, for the intro is for sure of calling on people. I'm, that's one of, yeah. <laughs> We've all been to too many bad, you know, Zoom meetings. So, um. <laughs> right. <clears throat> So I think if, you know, you're up next kind of thing, is if it's going to be in order and, and someone's going to be calling on people, that's, that's fine. Just move, that'll move things along. Yeah. Most. Well, I'll just ask another procedural question. Looking through the uh, item three, where we have the dis discussions, where <clears throat> there are four, four questions for each mm, committee. Um, and the last one is, what questions do you have for other committees? That's where I can see things just simply for, you know, what, what's going to happen with that and yeah. how long is that going to take? Do you want to... <sighs> You know, gather, gather those questions and then come back to them when everyone has finished reporting. Um, and then and, open, is, and that would open the floor to um, a much more free form kind of discussion. Or do you, do you want to move th everyone through all of these all one, you know, at one time? This Jeremy's facilitating this section. And I do wonder if he's got a plan plan for it you know and if you're like we have this much time for the discussion writ large and then if he's like here's how i was thinking of facility if he's gonna like have people put things in the chat or like write things down or you know if there's like a way that he's thinking of facilitating it to be able to move through these questions in a more timely format i think i'm i'm just like in looking over kind of like the overview and stipends overview like i think the whole first section could take like 15 minutes or less and then we could have like a good chunk of time for the actual discussion. And, you know, it'd still be a lot if all 42 people show up, but like, or it still could be a lot if 20 people show up. But like, I, I yeah, I think we just check in with him about his facilitation plan. Does that make sense or? 
Um, well, I mean, yeah, I, unless, I think unless you're, anybody you're, has you're concerned. Yeah. Unless anybody <laughs> has a preference, I guess it's okay. I mean, my preference would be to keep track of the questions that others have and then come back to them. Yeah. Because some of them may overlap and we and we might be able to just, you know, sort of get 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 chunks of things for for discussion and move yeah. on. And their their keeping time would be more crucial um, because you want to get through the list of questions that you have. I never thought of timekeeping as being such a, uh, yeah. such a having so many implications for how things go. But but I think with only an hour and a half, we really have to be careful how to manage things that look on the surface to be open ended. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's important. Um, right. Okay, to do a report back, where Pellin, Lauren, Cameron, anything else? Well, is it okay if I talk with Jeremy? Am I allowed to do that? Oh, I think that's important. Yeah, Cameron, or what are the what are the rules on that? I can do it. Okay. Yeah, you All can right. talk to him. I will, I will. I will send him an. E I'll send him an email, um, and ask about his plan for. This. Yeah, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. I'm sorry uh, to voice that on you while the rest of us were doing our prep work so i just i pulled this together so i can definitely add in i mean this, i'll make it more pretty too it's like black and white here but of to help me get my head on board here um but of like having our agenda and then just doing some quick overviews um of like welcomes and just calling on people moving it along moving it along and then kind of the overview of who we are of just sharing a little bit about our history our funding um, that we've kind of gone through this equity assessment project and kind of just like very briefly, we found the, here are some general findings. There was a bunch of recommendations, like don't read this slide. I don't know if this is even helpful to say, or just to say, here's the link to the report. And then to just talk about like the next steps. And this is where I just wanted to check in on two questions is like the, the immediate next steps is like, we updated the website to have more accessible history but like, have we updated the website to be more accessible in other ways? That's still on the docket, right? That's still in in the works. So I'm also looking at you, Cameron. Sorry. What was the question? I apologize. Oh no, of that like the website to be updated to be more accessible. Is oh that, yeah, that I can talk about that. We right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this we, is where like I don't think we need to like run through it all these all in depth, but just to be like. We're working on it. It's happening, yeah. right? Like that's kind of the update. But do you want to give us the in-depth answer now? Yeah. Uh, there's not really an in-depth answer where we are currently waiting to make sure that the, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I don't, I'm blanking because it's very early. Um, you can't recall the budget after the 31st. You can't. Anyway, we're waiting for that. But after that, We've been talking to a couple different companies about what it would take to completely rehaul, overhaul the website um, from square one uh, while keeping um, sort of the historical documents um, there. So there'll be a lot of um, space and time to talk about what the website needs. Um, it would be 100% ADA accessible at that point. And um, what else? I think one of the biggest things we can point to is Michael's work right now on the history right. section, that was a big deal. Yeah, that was huge. Yeah. But right, because of like, oh, right, there's the other pieces of that too. Cool. And yeah. um, you could also talk about we, for that first bullet, we do have a language line inside the city. Right. We do have that uh, ability. Yeah. And then anything else for the, um, yeah, like the police department of like saying like, yeah, there's now like a social worker and stuff that was like in the works before this was happening, but that's something that's happened coming out of this. Is there any other kind of like report backs of what's been happening here? I'm like embarrassed that I don't know this off the top of my head. Or anything else that we should share here? Um, you could also talk about ordinance review has been scheduled with council, like public mm -hmm. safety ordinance review. And then 
We also have funding for another peer support outreach worker, which is different than a social worker. And Sorry, what was the first one? Public safety, what, what? Ordinance review has been scheduled with council. And then a couple other, I mean, we have now a new um, community resource officer. Mike Philbrick is now sort of institutionalized. That sounds gone. (laughs) Institutionalized means lots of different things. Organizationalized? Operationalized? Operationalized (laughs) is the word I'm looking for. I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, and I want also, you all to know that I am not a morning person. Uh, I noticed in the paper that the bids are going out for uh, body cam- uh, body worn cameras. Oh yes, so, that is true. Yes. Does that mean that protocols have already that the the chief has drafted protocols and guidelines for the use? Yes, I think so. <clears throat> okay. Most of those go straight to Bill um, for review. So um, I would have to check on that. I can write a note to check on that. Yeah. And just FYI that we were approached to have an opinion about that a few, you know, back in 2018, 2019. And we uh, dug into it a lot as a committee, but did not make any recommendations. And then the city council pulled the, pulled the, the, pulled the conversation. So yeah, that's where our, organizational history is that with that. Um, okay, but anything else for this kind of, like I think just very high level, like here's the big recommendations that they made, here's what's happened so far, here's what's still happening. Now over to stipends. Does that make sense? Five minutes or less? Mm-hmm. Cool. And so then stipends, we'll go over to Lauren. Do you wanna, do you have anything? I can put some slides in if that's helpful. Yeah, I mean, I, I can work on the side. I was like working on just writing up. Yeah, my computer does this weird thing where it just goes blank for Word documents every few minutes. Um, so Fun. yeah, it's, it's, it's very helpful. Um, so I was just uh, writing up like how I would say it and I can like drop some. Um, actually, I can, can I share my screen? I can just... This is like a very rough beginning sketch, um, but. Yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Is that viewable? Okay, mm-hmm. so um, yeah, I was just starting to write out. So I'm sorry if this is really small to read. Um, so like the stipends as Shana was just saying, core recommendation based on you know, and I assume you'll talk about how that was like lots of outreach and input went into forming that just so people know that they should take those recommendations seriously right. um, and that, you know, the access issues. I don't have, I need to like, I'll dig out the memo that we wrote. I was just doing this off the top of my head. So I'll, I'll do that and incorporate and make this better. Um, but, you know, basically just like explaining a little bit of the why and that this is something that other communities, that the state already does this um, and that this council decided to make 30,000 available for this year and um, make clear that we viewed this as a pilot project. So it's gonna be really important to be getting the input from all the committees on what's working, what isn't so that we can improve the program over time. Um, I think however we wanna say that, in a way, um, and then how it will work. A lot of this, I was assuming Cameron would have the actual details on, but, um, and I don't know if this is accurate, but that it would be like made clear on application materials that this is available. And then when you're kind of getting, after you're appointed, then you would work with city staff to like work through the paperwork to make that accessible, but that it's available to anyone um, upon request and I couldn't remember, did we decide we're just doing it for like the mandatory city committees to start or we're just making it available and we'll just run out of money at some point if we do, if, if we get taken up a lot. Okay, um, that was as far as I got. So I'll, great. Take, I'll take the memo, I couldn't find, anyway, I'll look at the memo and flesh this out a little bit. Is that like more or less the kind of thrust of what I should be, okay. 
I think of just also just saying, and I can put this in the slide too, but I think like $50 per person per meeting is the only like thing that I think is missing here of just like critical information. Yeah. But right. That'll be in the info too. Cool. And then over to Cameron for the finance pieces, TBD, and then over to Jeremy for the discussion, and then over to Pellin for next steps. Mm -hmm. If you have anything. Yeah, I just uh, post something on, um, on the chat. Um, I am, uh, I'm a fellow in one of the national leadership program and most of the topics are we are talking about DEI mostly, right? And uh, last, uh, I think two weeks ago, we have trainings Saturday and Sunday all day. And they mentioned, uh, we had, I think, guest speaker and uh, they mentioned this project. And I thought it will be interesting for us. It's called Lang uh, Vermont language justice project so they are doing what we are trying to do and discuss before so 12 different languages and they are trying more inclusive environment uh, for those languages i don't know maybe we can connect uh, with them invite one of the people to our meetings work with them i don't know i just want to bring it up because in our next step i saw that language piece so i just want to mention i thought it's pretty cool <laughs> and i didn't know this i said what people are doing this it is so cool so um, i just want to throw it um, to you and we can discuss in the future if you want <laughs> I didn't know about this either. Very cool. Um, so anything else for the prep for the April 11th meeting? I hear Michael is gonna connect with Jeremy. Um, I'm gonna make this slide deck a little bit more aesthetically uh pleasing and to prep a little bit more for my sections um and then and Lauren's gonna look over the materials and prep those pieces um yeah was there anything else that we should check in on as a full team or or things to name um cool uh, all right. So then I think, yeah, I'm just like committee and committees. Oh, no, that's, I can't read my notes here. Uh, self-education learning roundtable report back from other committees, um, and council, um, and any other business to check in on. Just kind of throw them all out there. Well, we sort of discussed the Elks Club property meeting. So there'll be another one of that. Um, and like I said, that'll be at the April uh, 20th, I guess. Would that be when it is? Yeah, uh, council meeting. Okay. April 20th? Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about the planning process um, in regards to the Elks property. Put it on my work calendar. Sorry, here we go. I also immediately have an update for the body worn camera stuff. I sent Chief a message and was like, "What's the policy?" To Scott, like, where's that at? And he says, "There's a statewide body worn camera policy that we will be like we'll have to adopt. That's currently undergoing revisions with the Vermont Criminal Justice Committee, and so we'll have more information soon." And Shana, just to your point about like there was a whole community discussion and it kind of got stalled out because of like 
privacy and other policies. And then the state did a lot of work. So when the police review committee looked into it, it was like, okay, they finally have figured out a bunch of those issues. And so like, and Michael, correct me. Thank you for the reminder about the police review committee. the the, The conversation had evolved to a point where we felt comfortable and that's like we had made the recommendation that we should adopt them and that the we should use those policies that seemed like they were addressing the concerns like ACLU and other groups and stuff had like been involved so that group had felt comfortable with where things had evolved to. <laughs> Thanks for that context too. I was just like it feels important to share that we spent a lot of time on this and then of course many many other people spent a lot of time on this too so cool yes yeah there was a lot of work based on all those issues that were raised that yeah were cool yes didn't Cameron remind me um didn't uh counselor Jennifer Morton just like say she was interested in joining this committee oh um I think she had if so, we should invite her. <laughs> we should. Yes. I, <laughs> I, I kind of, I think she did. Probably. Um, I'm sorry if I, yeah. No, I, it just um, popped into my head. I saw your thing like, we're seeking new members. And I was like, you are correct. She did. And I apologize for that. She, she did ask to be on that in the last council meeting. And so I apologize and we'll add her to the list. Awesome. That's exciting. Um, well, great. Okay. So we will meet again on April 6th, which is one more meeting before our April 11th meeting. And then yeah, Monday, April 11th, we've got our meeting at 530. Oh man. And I'm looking at my calendar. I'm also, I'm flying back on, I'm taking Monday off and I'm flying most of the morning. And so just, just I'll, I'll prep everything so that just in case, you know, all of the flight shenanigans go horribly awry, someone can pick it up and go to, but hopefully that, that won't happen because I'll be so prepared. But if I'm not prepared, then it will happen. You know, it's like a Murphy's law situation. Shana, just for, um, prepping slides, logistics, like either, I'm just trying to think of how I can get my slide info to you in, a, in an efficient way. Do you want me to just send bullet points at some point that you could put into like the same the format and the Google doc or make it a Google slideshow thing that we can. Yeah, I made it as a Google slideshow and I did just email it out, I believe. Hold on though. No, I know no Offline. So- you should be able to make edits. And also I recognize that that's not how everyone likes to work. So feel free to just send me bullet points or. Yeah, you can't, you too. can't actually group edit a document that can constitutes oh, a, uh, yeah. a legal reading. But I think we can, we can do it when we're Thank online you. together. So like I could bring that, I could bring bullets mm-hmm. to the next meeting, drop them in, you guys could look at them or something. Yes. So okay. people should so individually email. mail Please. stuff to Shana if you want to include it before the next meeting, but we can work on it collectively at your next meeting. Rather than editing it, Can't and edit. I will um, between meetings. Okay. Or like if it's your document, Shana, now, like we just can't all co edit it. Got it. Thank you. Sorry. I should remember that by now. Yep. It's okay. All right, laws haven't say, caught up to the changing technology in any way. So anyone with the link can be a viewer. Great. Viewer. But I can edit. Okay. Sorry about that. Love Google Docs. Love public meeting laws. Recognize <laughs> the challenges. Okay. Transparency. All right. Yeah. Great. Thank you all. Sorry this meeting. Um could have been could have been better so <laughs> we'll, we'll be better prepped for two weeks okay thank you all see you thanks good to see you all